Hey guys, what is up? It's Thomas with Southern Outdoors Fishing. Hope you all are doing all right. Um, I'm getting ready to take a trip uh, the week of Easter. I'm going to be going down to Oak Island where I normally go, and I'm going to be doing some fishing. Hopefully, if the weather cooperates, um, I t <laughs> tell you what guys, the weather has not cooperated here lately. It's either been snowing, raining, blowing wind, 40 mile, 40 mile an hour plus winds, it just has not cooperated so that's why you're seeing me doing these type of videos temporarily the fish i'm going to be going after while i'm down there because the kids love love to catch these things i mean you can catch them two at a time and that's what i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how to catch these things the rig you need and all that it's very easy very simple and really the only bait that you need is some shrimp you can find that everywhere down the coast walmart uh any bait and tackle shop there's usually shops up and down the the strip there that you know you can you can buy it frozen you can buy it however you want to buy it but it is is very easy to come by i mean and all you need is just little pieces and i'm going to show you some clips uh of, of just how to do this i mean it's like i said it is a very very simple way to fish um all you gotta do is basically find them and that's really usually pretty easy too because once you go out and start seeing a whole bunch of boats i mean you'll see a whole bunch of boats usually in just one little area and all you gotta do is go out there anchor up and just start casting and you you'll, you'll catch them i use a, a drop rig which has two on it you, you can catch up with two fish at a time and uh i use that and it's it works it works great but uh there's other names for i think i think other people some people call it a virginia a virginia mullet but you can catch these things in the surf in bays um i i go out and where i fish at is i fish at the mouth of the cape fear river right there at south point you go straight out from south point just follow the channel out and where the where the uh cape fear hits the ocean you just get on to the left side of that channel and you'll catch them that's 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 where you'll catch them you catch two at a time when they're biting um you, like i said you just gotta find them because a lot of times croakers will be in those out there with those as well with the um with the whiting so if you start catching a bunch of croaker you may just have to move over because croaker loves shrimp let me tell you um but i'm just going to show you the rig starting with the rod reel and the line everything and go to the the hooks weights drop rig and everything all right for this year i've got a brand new setup um well the rod's not new but the reel is i don't even have line on it right now the the, the line is on the way i'm going i'm going to spool this thing up with some uh 10 pound cast pro this this cast king sharky 3 3000 size reel will be perfect for what I'm going to be using uh, and fishing for, but I, this is just a Perigee two rod, uh, medium medium heavy, fast action rod. You do you know you don't need you don't you can go with a moderate would be fine because you know you're going to be pulling up quite a bit of weight. You can get by with a moderate action rod you, because you're not really jerking on the rod. I mean once you you'll feel that fish, you'll feel it start nibbling on it. And once you feel it nibbling on it, and, and, and you can kind of feel it take it, and whenever you do, you just set the hook and you got it. So that this is one rod and reel setup. Let me show you one more that I like to use. I've actually used this one before. This is my Cast King uh, 3000 Kodiak reel. And I've, like I said, I got some line coming, but I'm going to use the 10 pound Cast Pro. This is the Perigee rod. Uh, this is the first edition. Um, this is actually a kayak rod. Uh, this is medium uh, power, moderate action. So this one's got a little bit more flex to it. My kids will be with me. What my wife will be with me. So I'll have rods for them as well. But I want to start with the with the hook size. You don't want a big hook, but you want a long shank hook. The reason being, you can't really feel the fish sometimes, or you just not pay attention, and it takes it, and, and it'll get down in there sometimes, kind of deep. So what I like to use is a long shank hook. And here it is right here, guys. Hope you guys can see that. Uh, these was recommended to me by the late, great Jimmy Price, uh, Flounder King. Um, he lived there in Southport, North Carolina. He, he helped me get my rigs and what I needed to, to, to start, 
start whiting fishing. But this is a two times long hook, eagle claw hook. Uh, these are size four. You can you can buy them in quantities of 50, and that's what I, I usually do. I buy a couple packs of these. They're, they're not much, maybe three or four bucks a, a, a pack. But these hooks are designed for salt water, so just, you know, you can use them. Don't have to worry about them. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the rig itself, the drop rig. Uh, I like using a two-hook uh, drop rig. Now, I buy these. You can buy them at Walmart. You can make your own. Um, but I buy mine from uh, Wildlife Tackle down there on uh, Fish Factory Road down in Southport. Um, these are, um, I think, Sea Striker. Is, is who makes this particular one. I just like it better than the ones that, that from Walmart. But they work too, I've got some of those. You can buy these that have different colored beads on them. This one has a red bead, some has a green. And they say this helps attract the fish, the, the whiting fish. So all it is is a swivel at the top, then you come down to a loop, and you got a little drop loop a uh, little drop rig right here you got one little rig here this that's got a, a a clip on it a snap clip and then you go down a little further and then you got another swivel and you got another drop rig right here with a bead and a clip all right now you go down to the bottom and then you put your weight on here uh the, this is just all this is is this middle thing right here in the center it just slides and it open it lets you open that up and you can change your weight very quickly very easily you can take that off if say the current gets, starts getting too too uh too much to keep the bait in place because sometimes it you know depending on on the tide you know you may throw it out here and it's going to end up over here pretty quick so sometimes you got to up that weight uh to a, maybe a two ounce weight to try to, to, to keep it from going uh with the current so, so quick so you just put whatever size weight you you want there. I usually start with a half a, a, a one ounce weight, and I'll slide that up there, and there you go. And I just cast that out, and that guys is your drop rig. And I'm telling you, they they are so fun to catch. Kids love it. I mean, because they can catch two at a time, and it's like it's like fighting a big <laughs> a big fish, cause. You know, you get you get two fish fighting at the same time, and they think they've got a monster. Kids love that. I'm telling you, kids love it. I love it too. I mean, they're great eating. Uh, you can you can you can eat them things and just I mean, fillet them out, eat them. They're delicious. There's there's no limit on them. You catch you catch however many you want to keep. Uh, so, or you throw them back, whatever you want to do. But there is another one. This one's got a two ounce pyramid weight on it. And you can buy these. You don't have to use pyramid. You can use whatever you want. But this is just what I like to use because it helps keep it in place on the bottom. But, guys, that's, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I, like I said, I'm going down there in a couple weeks. Hope to get some video of uh, us catching some. All right, guys. Till next video, check out the Cast King YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Give this video a like. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.